Elbow hyperextension is not an inherently bad thing, but it can sometimes suggest a lack of proprioception or body awareness around the elbow. So here's what elbow hyperextension looks like. If I were in a hands and knees position, hyperextended elbows are eyes of the elbows kind of pressing or reaching forward like this. Whereas here, these are more like neutral elbows. Hyperextension is when I extend my elbow joints beyond neutral, and it looks like this. So, like I said, it's not an inherently bad position, and many people train strength and control in that position, and it's just fine for them. However, if improving proprioception of this area is something that we might like to work on, one great tool for that is a resistance band. So we can take the resistance band and just put it right above our elbows, like this, and then we can come back into that hands and knees position. We can press out into the band and in doing so, feel the muscles of the elbows working. And then we try to keep that same feeling of work happening across the elbow as we come back towards straight, but with control. So we press out into the band and we feel muscles creating tension across the elbow joints. We keep that feeling of tension as we move back toward straight. And then once we practice that a bit and kind of felt uh, embodied how it feels to have these elbow muscles working, then we can come back to a hands and knees position without the band. And we can try that a couple of times by pressing out, keep the feel of the elbow muscles working, and then we only straighten to the point that we can still feel that work happening. So that's one way to work with uh, improving proprioception around the elbows, specifically for elbow hyperextension. Another great tool we can use is a yoga strap with a loop in it. We can take the strap and loop it just above the elbows. And with this setup, uh, the strap is not like the band. It doesn't have that tension. So it, instead, it's uh, we have to push out into the strap in order to keep the strap on our arms. If we instead hyperextend, do you see how the, the strap loses its tension and it just kind of falls, well, it falls down the arm? So instead of that, we want to keep the, the strap taut and tight by pressing out into it with our upper arms. And then once we found that in a hands and knees position, then we could start, we could add some more load by stepping into plank pose, still pressing out into the strap. Then we could consider adding movement to this by keeping pushing out to the strap as we press back into downward facing dog. This is a good place where many of us kind of disengage across the elbows in down dog. Then we keep pushing out into the strap as we return back to plank pose. And after practicing that for a bit, we may have taught ourselves how to feel, how to create that tension across the elbow in those positions. And then we could try feeling for that same engagement across the elbows, step into plank pose, pretend the strap was there and we were pressing out into it. As we press back into down dog, it may be like a whole new experience for someone in these familiar shapes. We come back to plank pose still feeling like the strap was there and we were still pressing out into it so that we feel the tension of the muscles working and the support that that provides to our elbow joints. So I hope that some of these tips were helpful for you in thinking about this. And if you appreciated this content, subscribe to my channel so that you can stay up to date on all of the tips that I share.